Hey guys, today I want to show you how to draw this Christmas tree inside Adobe Illustrator. So the first thing we want to do is go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. Then go to window and open your transform panel right here. And with this open, go to the drop down menu right here and uncheck align new objects to pixel grid. This will make everything fit correctly. Now choose the pen tool and draw a triangle like this. Now give this triangle a green color. For this project I have prepared these swatches. If you want these swatches you can download them from down in the description. And you can import the swatches by going to this menu, go to open swatch library, other libraries and find them on your computer. Now select the triangle and go to edit, go to copy, then go to edit again, paste in front and one more time paste in front. Now we have three triangles on top of each other. So with the first one selected, hold down the shift key and shrink it until it only fits one square like this. Now select the other one and shrink this one until it fits four squares like this. Now you have the three basic shapes the tree is made from. So select this shape and align it to the top of the large triangle. Then with the arrow keys on your keyboard, notch it up three times. Do the same thing with the small triangle. Now we need to make the stem, so select the rectangle tool and draw a stem down here. Give the stem a brown color, then right click the stem, go to arrange and send to back. To give the tree a little more detail, we're going to create shadows underneath each segment. So with the rectangle tool still selected, draw a rectangle like this and color this one black and set the opacity to 20%. Now duplicate the shadow underneath each segment. Then select everything, go to the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key, you can delete the excess shadow. Now choose the star tool and while holding down the shift key, draw the star from up here on top of the tree. Give the star a gold color. To draw the white bands on the tree, go to the line tool and draw a line across the large segment down here and make the stroke as white as you like. I'm choosing 15 millimeters. Now make the stroke white. And while having the stroke selected, go to object and go to expand. Click OK. This makes the band a shape instead of a stroke. This makes it easier to edit the shapes. Now select the band you just draw. And while holding down the alt key, duplicate the band to the middle of the shape right here. And repeat this once more. Now select everything. Go to the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key, delete the excess band. Now before drawing the bubbles, we want to create the shadow going through the middle of the tree. For this, create a rectangle all the way across the middle. Then once again, select everything and select the shape builder tool and delete the excess shadow. Now select the shadow. Make it black and lower the opacity to 20%. Now for the bubbles, create a new layer. Then choose the ellipse tool and draw a small circle by holding down the shift key and dragging. Give this circle a gold color and zoom in on it. To create the details on this bubble, we need to unselect snap to grid. So go to view and unselect snap to grid. Now select the bubble, go to edit, go to copy and now paste in front two times. Now while holding down the shift key, notch the top shape one time to the left with the arrow keys. While still holding down the shift key, select the shape underneath. Then go to the shape builder tool, hold down the alt key to delete and delete all this. Leaving behind the original bubble and the shadow you just created. Now select the shadow and give it a black color and lower the opacity to 20%. Go to the ellipse tool again and draw a highlight where the light hits the ball. Give this highlight a white color and lower the opacity to something like 60%. Now select the entire bubble and right click and click group. Now zoom out to see the tree and duplicate the bubbles where you like them. Make sure they overlap the white band some places to make it look more realistic. 